Well, welcome back to Crossroads. Easter will soon be here. So today we are joined by Kathleen Lawson from the Marion Easter Pageant and to kind of talk about this very fun tradition that we have here in Marion. This tradition has been going on since 1937. It did take a few um, hiatus during the war and also when the YMCA bought the building. But now we are back into our full pageant again. And it's been an every other year tradition since it's come back fresh and new. And so this is an on year. Correct. And I think people need to know if they haven't looked at the church calendar, we are in Lent now and yeah. Easter is one of those really, really early Easter's. So you're here to say we need you, right? We need you. It also falls during spring break for the public school system. Mm. So we have challenges there with people traveling and non, not being able to participate. So we do need volunteers, still need volunteers. Now, what will that look like? Because there, there are some people in this town that, that know exactly what you mean, but there's, there's new people in town. There's people that never participated. If you want to volunteer, you want to be a part of this, you want to be in the cast crew, what does that look like and what, what do you need? Well, the cast always rehearses on Sundays at 5 p.m. at the YMCA. If you would like to be in the cast, you can just show up at 5 p.m. We will place you <laughs> in a role. We will. If you don't want to be a front person, there are areas that you can um, participate in, such as doing makeup, being in charge of props or helping with props, helping with costumes. We need some seamstresses. We need definitely make makeup people. So there's a, a lot of things you can get involved in. Now, is there anything new that anyone can expect this year or some more fun things you guys have added to the program? Well, we don't tell all that stuff. We <laughs> just have to come go. to see That's it. Smart. <laughs> That's smart. And musically, I, I guess that uh, since I'm always aware, even though I've lived here 10 years now, uh, I'm always aware that there's new people, there's people who've never gone. What can they expect? What about this tradition draws you, I think, to be part of it? If you talk to people from the community, they're still hyped about it for all the years it's been in existence. Um, if you're brand new and you've not heard about it, um, it's, it's a portrayal of Holy Week. Jesus is um, coming into Jerusalem and we portray the triumphal entry, the death, the resurrection. It's all done in pantomime with the choir singing the lyrics to the pantomime along with a full orchestra. So we have about 300 in the choir about a hundred in the orchestra. It's just beautiful. It's beautifully visually and beautiful as well to the ear. And why do you think it's so important that Marion has such a great tradition like this at such an important part of the year? I think the way our world has been falling, um, it, it gives us hope. So I think it's important because of that. It's kind of an old school spectacle, for lack of a better term. I don't know that there's too many places you can go today and kind of see something that's taking place kind of all around you. You know, the sound kind of surrounds you because you are in the, the YMCA, the Memorial Coliseum, the place that it happens. But, I, I, you know, for lack of a better word, spectacle. And, and that's something we don't see a lot anymore. And I, I like that Marion mm -hmm. has kept that alive. Is that, is that a fair description? Yes. You know, just a little bit of everything. It's hard to describe, but it's, it's just kind of all yeah. there in front of you. It just takes you into Jerusalem, you know, all those years back, and it lets you relive all this, you know, live mm -hmm. instead of just reading it. And yeah. what, what does it look like when you're putting together a program like this? I mean, where do you start even to, to make sure this all comes together by Easter? We start with um, past people first. And then um, just depending on what we need done, like tweaking of the set, that's something that we had to do this time. Um, so there's just all kinds of things to, to think of to do. Um, just organizing costumes, organizing makeup, um, it just all this organization before we actually can put people in place. So. Okay, well, we're mostly here to give volunteers, and we're going to give people information on that, but let's let people also know about the performance, or perf will it be one night again this year, or, or two nights? It is two nights. It okay. is Monday night, March 21st, and Tuesday night, March 22nd, at 7 p.m. Tickets will be available March 1st at the YMCA. As soon as they open, they go fast. Six tickets per person is the limit. And um, there is no cost for the ticket. But you gotta have a ticket. Gotta have a ticket. Very important. And if you would like more information on volunteering, they need you now. We do. <laughs> Be part of the pageant. So go to easterpageant.com. It's really easy. It's easterpageant.com. You can find a form there and choose one of the many different areas to volunteer. This is a Grant County, a Marion tradition. 
We yes. love to see it back yes. and we love to see more people participate. Yes. Well, thank, thank you for joining us, thank Kathleen. You. Thanks for coming on thank the show. You. I appreciate it.